Sometimes, for whatever reason, we may not be able to use Drupal's automatic update functionality. If we can't, it's no big deal. We can still apply the updates. We just have to do it using the manual method. Let's go back to reports, available updates. And we see that this module and this theme are up to date. This module and this theme still need updates applied. We're going to update the IMCE module right now. If we look over here on the right, we can take a look at the release notes if we'd like. This takes us to that projects page on drupal.org. The release notes here are pretty short and sweet. Fix the JavaScript error. Let's go back. We can go ahead and download this directly from this link. This is not downloading it to your site. This download link downloads it to your local machine. So we're going to click on that. And here's the file that it's going to download. Download that somewhere on your local computer. And once that's downloaded, you're going to go to your cPanel. And then your file manager. Go ahead and go to your web root. And in Drupal 8, modules go in the modules directory. They used to go in the sites all modules directory, but as of Drupal 8, that's just modules. So we're going to navigate to this directory, and now we're going to upload the file that we just downloaded. That's the newest version of the module that we're updating. Go ahead and select that tar.gz file and click open. And once that's done, go back to the file manager, reload this screen, and first we're going to delete the version of IMCE or whatever module you're updating. We're going to delete the version that we currently have on our site. So select that one and click delete. Once that's done, we'll select this new one and extract it. We'll use this path, extract files, and here are all the files that it took out of there. We'll close that. Let's reload this again. Now we have our IMCE directory back. Let's delete this tar.gz file. We don't need that anymore. And if we take a look inside this new folder we have, we see all of the files that comprise this module, as well as some other directories that have more files in them. Now we've successfully downloaded the new version of this module onto our server. So let's go back to our site. And after you do that, it's always good to run update.php by going to your domain slash update.php. And we're going to go through this process of updating the database if the module requires that any changes are made to the database. If the module requires that any changes need to be made to the database. We get the message making sure we've backed up our code and our database before we do this, just in case something goes wrong. We click continue, and we get the message that there are no pending updates. The modules don't need to do anything to the database. We should be all good to go. Let's go to administration pages, and let's go to reports available updates and scroll down a little bit and we see that this module is now up to date. All we had to do was manually replace the old folder that contained this module with the folder containing the new version. Note that when you're using the cPanel file manager or rather if you're using an FTP client rather than the cPanel file manager you want to go ahead and extract the tar.gz file on your own computer first, and then use the FTP client to upload the entire extracted directory. Now that we've done that, this module is updated just as well as the one that we applied the automatic update with.